hey everyone welcome back to the channel welcome back to phantom strategies so in this video review i want to talk about uh i was <coughs> excuse me i was doing some research over the weekend uh, i like to go through like a lot of different data different articles and try to consolidate that all that information and try to analyze it and based on those information um I came across this like a lot of things that I'm seeing right now and just trying to just you know trying to uh, combine all this different data and analyze it there is a there's a trend that is going on right now uh, which is very um, a very powerful trend in a sense but it can be very like disruptive and it can be if it turns it can have a major major impact on the global market and that can very much um, you know kind of fall into the crypto world so remember crypto world is not its own mark I mean it's 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 its own market but it's not isolated from the global mar market I, I want to be very clear a lot of people think that you know cryptocurrency market has nothing to do with the global market it's a completely on its own as it's not the case all right so please 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 be very careful when you because the reason we had seen so, tremendous gains in 2017 is because the overall global market was phenomenal in 2017 look at any asset class if you touched anything in 2017 whether it's a crappier stock or like you know uh anything like any any like uh, anything you touched in 2017 as as far as investment most likely you have made money on it and that was a global trend it wasn't just about cryptocurrency it wasn't just about like you know um stock market it wasn't just about the real estate market it was just a general global trend but what makes me worry now um that the trend is going so it has been so strong and it's been so strong driven by like only one sector that really worries me um and that's the part that i want to talk about all right so just to be clear the purpose of this video is not to scare you but to really educate you as a as a you know investor whether you are investing in like art whether you're investing in like you know cryptocurrency whether you're investing in stock market whatever as a investor you have to be prepared for your downside risk or you have to manage those downside um risk okay i have said this plenty of time on this channel if you manage your downside risk your upside potential will take care on take care on its own all right let me say that again if you manage your downside risk your upside potential will take care on its own okay and remember the major shift in the market comes when least amount of people are expecting it all right i'm going to say this again as well the major shift in the market any market whether you take the cryptocurrency market whether you take the stock market real estate market whatever any investment market whatever you want to take it the major shift in the market comes whether on the upside or on the downside is when the least amount of people are expecting it all right there is an old saying like you know when there is a blood on the street uh, buy properties all right uh, I mean, it's not like, you know, Warren Buffett, who is one of the best investor out there, and um, he is predominantly invested in stock market. He he's not very much. He doesn't understand the technology behind cryptocurrency, and I don't blame him. I, I, I respect him a lot as an investor. He, is, he has a great insight into what he has done over the years um he, and a lot of things you can learn from him but one of his biggest strength uh, like if you go, go look at his um interviews and his articles one of the things that he always mentioned is when others are um you know fearful um be greedy and when others are greedy be fearful what he is trying to say is when like don't be you know uh, when when there is like you know everyone is singing hallelujah try and like you know get out of it and when everyone is crying full everyone is like crying about things that's a that's the time when you should be you know start buying things okay so what i'm trying to say here is 
I have been reading these articles where I, I see that some of the biggest brand, some of the most valuable brand in 2017 and now into 2018 are predominantly into technology sectors. Okay, what I mean by that, Google technology sector, Apple technology sector, Microsoft technology se sector, Amazon technology sector, Facebook technology sector. So why I'm concerned about that? Okay, so let's look at some more data. Okay, uh, these are like the list of all these brands, um, and you can I will put put a link of this article. This article is a little bit old, by the way. It's uh, from 20 uh, 2017, but it will give you a good idea of how to like you know manage those kind of like you know what to kind of see ahead. Like you know the the global crash we had few weeks ago that was coming if you if you read this kind of if you can analyze this kind of uh, data and if you can analyze this kind of information compile it together you can see the trend why the you know the risk that the global sell off that we had was coming so let's look at this data okay so um if you go on the finviz website this is the website i have set it on the uh, on the channel plenty of side if you go to the group section of this website it will give you the performance by each sector of the by day performance by percentage by day by week by month three months six months year and year to date all right so let's look at that okay let's analyze see because i don't want to just say like you know i'm worried but i want to give you the information how i am collecting the data what i'm seeing it so you can actually see this kind of things and like you know you you can it it basically makes sense to like you know how to connect these dots and how to like you know what what signs what like things that you should be looking for all right so if you look at this like you know performance let's look it up by day the biggest performance by day um so that's for friday uh, february 9th um it's from technology sector utility uh financial and so on all right but if you come down a little bit let's say six months all right services and technology was the dominant sector and utilities were was the like you know the least um uh you know um, the minus eight percent least performing uh, performing uh, sector utility is one of those sector where it usually outperform the overall market when there's a lot of fear in the market like when there's a global fear why okay why so utility is one of those like your utility sector is like your like you know your electric electricity bill your you know gas bill those are utility sectors and why do they you know perform or like why do they underperform during the upside and why do they you know you know um, performs re relatively well during the downside because when everything is going down people still have to pay their bill people still have to buy the like you know use electricity use gas so like those are some stable sectors especially during the downside but what what we have been seeing for last one year is like technology have been dominating it industrial good have been dominating healthcare have been dominant financials have been dominating so for whole year when this kind of the when technology sector is dominating there has to be a market rotation the market rotation is very much part of a overall market cycle where like you know the majority of the wealth goes from one market and then it kind of distributed around different like you know sectors and uh, uh different um, um different sectors like you know uh, healthcare financial basic materials and so on and so forth all right so what i'm seeing here is the in the technology sector the biggest companies I'm looking at the list of the companies by market uh, uh, cap. All right. So in 2017, the top five companies, end of 2017, quarter four, the top five companies by market cap all belongs to technology sector: Apple, Alphabet, which is Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook. All of this company belongs to technology sector. So it tells you that 
technology sector is heavily dominating the overall market overall market but like if there is a smallest like you know shift in the technology sector it will it will have a ripple effect on the overall market because this is the sector is so dominated like there's so much money in this sector right now that even a smallest like effect or any any anything like smallest like uh, you know um shift in the market in the technology market it will have a major impact on the overall market and you it will trigger the sell-off in the global market all right so be very mindful of that you you have this the sector is completely like it's one-sided it's not if you see this top five are like it's not diversified you know you you want to see you want to see a healthy any any like you know uh, overall market you want to see uh, like in you know, diverse uh, sectors that kind of gives you like um, uh, more indication that it's not like uh, you know the sector is not congested or like you know it's the the wealth is not congested into one sector you want to have the wealth spread across the different sector because that will uh, that will have protect you from like you know major shift in the market and that if, if it's like concentrated too much into one sector and that one sector takes a no uh, like just a like dive then it will have a huge effect on like other other sector in the global economy so you want to see a diversification of wealth into different sectors rather than into one technology sector or something like uh, if it could be like a basic material or something like that but right now you're seeing what you're seeing is a huge domination by technology sector and a huge domination by american companies into um into the market cap in the 2017 only one two three four five six only six uh, i mean uh, well in the each quarter but like in the last quarter only two companies are out of 10 only two companies are non-american companies those are chinese companies alibaba and uh tencent uh, so that it's so much driven by one uh, nation's economy and you want to see a little bit more diversification in that and that that is also very worrisome so like it's if you you can come to this list and you can see like you know what are the like uh, this well, breaking down but like in in 2017 american like market has been red hot like you know it's been amazing they have done amazingly well but like what i'm worried about is like it's so much dominated on one sector that any shift any major thing that happens in that market any like it will have a ripple effect on the global market and the reason i want to cover this is because cryptocurrency uh world will not be uh it it will not be you know isolated if something major happens if something well uh, like in there we had a huge downshift right we had a huge downshift in the market where like um uh where is it s p 500 okay so the we had a huge drop here all this drop was driven by computer algorithms or the huge drops so like and i don't think this was in my opinion i don't think this was major uh, the, the major major every 10 years you will see this major shift in the market like a major correction or major like recession whatever you want to call it we had one uh, like or in 2000 time frame we had one in like you know uh, 98 we are coming at 2018 so that really it is a it's just a human mind it's like how like you know people just get all giddy up and all the way up 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 and then it needs to take a breather it needs to digest all this gain it just needs to we need new sets of investors new sets of people who can like come in and like and do a market rotation uh, so and i i feel like this wasn't this this drop wasn't it i feel like there might be a major one one major down push that might come um this chart ha is broken okay this chart right now is completely broken on s p um and it's i feel like you know there might be some uh short time squeeze like but 
I'm I'm a little bit worried uh, for the global market, and I, I'm not trying to like spook you or anything. I'm just trying to educate you. I'm just trying to make sure you are aware of the situation. You're not taken by you know surprise. You're covering your blind spots. All right, that's the whole purpose of this video is to cover your blind spots. When you see the most valuable brand by each country, is most of these countries like you know each if you see them, they are like dominated by technology sectors. And that's like okay, but like it's it's just it's too much when you have too much concentration on one sector. That that is uh, that is like you know sign that there is a shift will come soon. Like if you see in 2018, everything is in technology sector right here. That's that's a sign that you know there is a, there is gonna be a shakeup that's gonna come soon. If you see like you know um um. <sighs> Let's look it up. The fastest growing uh, brands in 2017. All of them are like, you know, tech related. So it's just, it's so heavily tech do dominated right now that it just makes me a little bit more worried and a little bit more nervous as far as the global market goes. I'm very, I'm, let me put it this way, I'm very optimistic about cryptocurrencies, okay? I'm very, it, it's, it's like a, it's like a monster that is out of the cage and you cannot get it back in the genie is out of the bottle okay let's let's put it that way the genie uh, is out of the bottle you cannot you can't put it back it's uh, it's and it's one of it's going to be a life changing there is going to be a major shift in like you know in um in the assets and world um, market from like one class to another class and this you're gonna see in our lifetime there's gonna be huge huge major shift of wealth from one class to another class and and cryptocurrencies this revolution is not just US based is not just like China based It's more it's a global It's gonna be like it's more of a global revolution so um, the reason I, I, you know, when we had, when we talk about bubbles, a lot of people talk about bubbles, right? Bubbles, we had a bubble, dot com bubble. A lot of people compare the cryptocurrency or Bitcoin to the dot com bubble we had in uh, late 90s. But that was only a small fraction. The dot com bubble was like only, like, you know, it was a NASDAQ. It was only US based, like, you know, NASDAQ bubble. And this one is a global, it's going to be, it's a global. Even if it's a bubble, it's, it's, this is not the bubble. We, this is going to go much, much bigger <laughs> before it will feel like bubble. All right. Let me say that again. This is gonna the cryptocurrency is gonna go much 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 bigger before it will start feeling like we're in very early stages right now, very very early, early stages right. The Nasdaq bubble people try to compare it, it's not fair because Nasdaq was like only U.S. based, you know, uh, dot com that boom that happened. And this is cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, like on this this thing it's a global global at a global level. So it's it has a lot further to go but the way you can um the way you can you know um how do i say it? the way you should position yourself is to position yourself for a, a biggest upside not not like you know buying it up on the top and then worrying it hey like it will come it will come it will come all the way to a twenty thousand by end of the year and i will be okay no that's not how you do it you want to position yourself well so you can get get the most amount of like you know um uh, the profit out of it. You you, you don't want to be positioning yourself down here, like up here, buying it up here and selling it down low. That's how that's a like a bad strategy. That's how you people lose money, and that's what I'm trying to educate users on how you should be trading, how you should be investing. So um, be very mindful of those things. All right, there is this is tremendous opportunity for a lot of retail investor, a first time investor to make money or make you know that passive income and for their for, for their families for their life you know the lifestyle they want to like you know sustain and to you know build so um i just want to make sure that you guys are aware of this kind of things you're looking at the blind spots um 
because don't be just you know throwing those darts in dark that it might work once it might work twice but you know it's not going to work again and again and when you keep on throwing that there will be a time that you'll be out of your darts okay so uh, be very mindful so just to wrap it up i'm uh, very concerned about the fact that we have um, uh, the top five companies um, where is that chart yeah the top five companies uh, by most value and by the market cap are predominantly concentrated in the technology sector and if we have a market rotation you're gonna see a huge um, downside in the global market and you want to be prepared for that and I'm, I'm telling you right now cryptocurrency market is not isolated from the global market okay if there is a major downshift in the cryptocurrency market you will see that ripple effect right into into the crypto market the reason we had a tremendous uh, 2017 in the crypto markets is because we had an amazing 2017 in the global market as well so if you look at the 2017 it was nice steady up uh, stream all right so and same thing happened in the crypto they double triple quadruple all right so what i'm trying to say is don't get blind spotted by um this uh, global event position yourself don't go all in and you know be very agile be very mindful take profits when you get them don't try to be like uh, you know uh, hero and be like hey i'm gonna this this coin is gonna go to the moon i'm gonna retire on this coin that doesn't happen i mean you probably have better luck just buying the lottery ticket all right um so don't be one of those guys be be a smarter investor and this kind of habit will be it you will able to transfer this kind of habit into your real in, in your day-to-day -day life all right um so that's pretty much a wrap guys i hope this was helpful i hope you learned something today um just to quickly cover uh, bitcoin before we um, close the video uh, right now we had this falling wedge we uh, we broke out of it we tried to pierce it around that 9000 level selling off a little bit but we are not back we are that resistance top resistance uh, the trend line we are taking that support right now so let's see how the asian market opens tonight and that will kind of give us a clue on how um the how, how the next will will pan out i still think we have a uh, room to go toward 10000 but i we trade on probabilities we try to stack the odds on our side i don't have a magic ball okay <laughs> i don't have any magic ball that hey we are going to you know on like tuesday at 11 a.m we're gonna hit that 10,000 mark i don't know that but what we are trying to do is by gathering this data is we are trying to stack the odds on our side and that's the best way we can invest and that's the best way you can trade so uh, by stacking the odds on your side okay you if you if the blindfolded guy can only go so far but having like you know doing your research doing your analysis combining consolidating all this data and then trying to figure out the overall picture will give you a cutting edge and uh, the and combining that with the technicals that's the hybrid approach that i have been using for all these years and that's uh, it worked for me i hope it works for you i wish you nothing but the best so um best of luck guys and let me know what you think about this videos let me know if you uh, want me to do more this uh, global uh analysis the research type of videos i will be doing more technical uh like you know um charts and all that but uh, i think uh, this was the weekend and i usually do my research over the weekend and i thought this was good to share with you and so you can be also covered uh from your blind spot yeah so you're not uh, you know you're not surprised by any major shift in the market in the global market all right um so that's all if you're new to the channel please subscribe uh, hit those notification icon if you think you learned something uh, today if you think this was useful please give me a thumbs up it means a lot to me uh, makes me motivated to do this content as i said my channel is not monetized i just do it to share my uh, knowledge with the community since i really think there is a lot of lack of information to uh, out there for the crypto community in general and um, i hope uh, the young generation uh, the new investors are learning something from this all right thank you all bye